this one. 16. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Sends that one out of play for strike one. Now the pitch. Another one fouled off, and he's quickly behind 0 2. Takes this the other way to right. Blackman is there, one away. Good contact to start out the inning. The Thought he might be on base with through. some sort of a hit, but Four. it hung up there too long. Just unlucky that time. Ladies Buster Posey will grab a please. bat and hit for the pitcher He's here. Hitting for the Giants. Number 28. Buster Posey. Lifted in the air out to left. And that'll take care of the pinch hitter here for route number two. The center fielder. Number so two. in now for San Cameron. Francisco. Cameron Maven. Not even close on that swing. No balls and a strike. Yeah, you attack the zone and get a swing and a miss that late on your first pitch fastball. Good chance he's coming right back with the same thing. On the run is Dahl. He gets there to make the catch, and that ends the inning. Giants. Tony Watson please. enters to do the pitching in the now bottom of the sixth. Here's Number Daniel Murphy 56. now. His previous Tony. battles with Tony Watson. Watson. He brings a four for 12 line. First pitch on its way. No. Well off the inside that time as the sinker misses for a ball. Here it comes. 1-0 to Murphy. Hard hit ball to short. Oh, it takes a nasty hop and he's unable to haul it in. Sometimes you just got to tip your hat now to the offense it. right Better there. Fielder. Nice piece of hit. Yeah. Executed his pitch away Get again, that. but the hitter was able to stay on time. In now, Ian Desmond. No hits in three tries so far. He struck out once. From the stretch. And a foul tip held on to here at strike one. Good job of making him chase that pitch down below the strike zone. That's where you want to pitch when you're looking for the double play ball. The 0-1. Swing, high drive, left field and deep. Sean looking up. Oh, it's gone! Santa Maria! A two-run shot that time for Ian Desmond, number 22 on the year, as they open it up to 8-3. to three. Yeah, he had the right idea trying to bust him inside, but that pitch caught too much of the plate, and he took it deep for a two-run homer. That was a nice swing of the bat. Blackman now as the first pitch to him is off the plate for a ball one and oh eight runs on 12 hits no errors in the ballgame for the Rockies thus far smoked on the ground up the middle and that's through for a hit so make it two hits for him now on the night as this one finds its way into center. And as now we present the Rockies leaderboard, you can see he currently paces the ball club in that department. Here's Nolan Arenado, his previous battles with Tony Watson. He's got a batting average of 444. Two of those hits were for home runs. And the runner back safely. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Slap hard the opposite way. Para is there and he makes the catch for the out. Now All right, so time for the Giants' road to the show report as we see a couple of prospects who are playing very well in the upper minors. Stepping in, Trevor Story. Last time through was a base hit. 
First pitch coming. Here it is. Hit the other way out toward right field. Moving under it. Hara. And he makes the catch for the second out. Now that is Striding oh, in for the Rockies. David Dahl. He's working on a one for three thus far. Now he'll step off the rubber and go to first. And he is tagged out here. Boy, a bad. In is Gerardo Parra. He'll lead it off here as we begin inning number seven. Right fielder, number no eight. balls in one strike. Gerardo Parra. The wind up and the 0 1. Ah. Tight break with the slider there. Catches the inside for a strike. He had some really good late action on that slider right there. It's hard to do anything with that pitch unless you're sitting on it and catch it out front before it breaks all the way in. And he will run the this one down, moving to his right, Brandon. and that's the first out no. of the inning. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. Nope. Fastball just misses. That's ball one. And through six and a third, he's about to hit the 100 pitch yeah, mark now. Hey, you know, Matty V, this is all you can ask for as a manager in today's game in baseball. Very rarely do we see guys get through the seventh inning. So he's through the sixth here with one out at Mark DeRosa. So far, so good. A pretty decent outing. Yeah, and I think it's going to be batter to batter here for the manager if he's going to continue to ride this hot hand or if he's going to go to the bullpen. The 2-2. Doesn't get the zone. Count full now. Keep in mind, people, the longer the at-bat, the higher the likelihood that this becomes his last inning. Seventh pitch of the at-bat coming up. He's just having a hard time putting this guy away. Four foul balls in this A-B. I don't think this pitcher has got something that he can get a swing and a miss on. Got him to miss the breaking ball there. Brandon Belt goes down for About out number two number in the top 26. half. When you're this deep into a start, it can be really exhausting and annoying. Here comes manager Bud Black out of the dugout heading for the mound. And we're going to see a pitching change as that's going to do it for his starter here tonight. So his final line will show six and two third innings pitched. He was very effective out there, no doubt. Chris Shaw is in with two away now as he looks at a called strike one. There's a swing and a high deep drive headed for the right field corner. And that's going to wind up hooking just a bit foul. So a missed opportunity there. That's lifted the other way out to left. Waiting on it is Dahl. And that'll get down out there near the wall. And now he'll get into scoring position with two away. Left fielder really now never back. had a chance at that one at all. It was over his head before he knew it, bouncing off the base of the wall for an easy double. Those are the kind of shots anyone would feel good about. Yonherva Solarte is in with two away as he takes a ball, 1-0. And Desmond will make the catch, and that ends the inning. Danger of... Drew Pomerantz gets the call from the pen to take over on the mound and start the home seventh. And that'll bring up the speedy no outfielder David Dahl. TV. And he's the reigning recipient Dahl. of the National League's Player of the Month award. And this is going to find the alley as he might have himself his second double of the ball game. And he'll pull into second here with nobody out. But baseball is a game of streaks and runs, and he is on one right now. Yeah, and you've got to ride these streaks as long as you possibly can, and he's doing that coming in right here. Came into this game on fire with the stick, and he's doing that here. That's now two hits so far for him in this one. Here's Mark Reynolds. As the first pitch to him is swung on and missed for strike one. A couple of RBIs for him already and a chance for more here. And here's a swing and a miss as they jump ahead of Reynolds here 0 and 2. Just don't understand the game plan right here. Walking up to home plate, you had to think you could potentially be pitched around. But now you find yourself down 0-2, and it's a battle. Fly ball out toward left center field. 
Maben will slide over and put this one away. And that's out number one. Here's the catcher now, Chris Alabama. Iannetta, in prior <laughs> matchups against Drew Pomerantz. An impressive Iannetta. four for seven. He's also hit a couple of home runs against him. High and deep to left center field. Shaw ranging back to the track. And this will get all the way to the wall now. He goes into second safely as a run will score on the play as well. When this thing left his bat, I started thinking it might have enough to get out of here. Didn't quite carry enough, but it does one hop the wall off the track, and he cruises into second with an RBI two-bagger. You'll take that every day of the week. Yasiel Puig will get the call here as he'll hit for the pitcher. He's hitting for the Rockies. Number 66. Yasiel Puig. And he just misses inside with the fastball there. count to Puig. Hey boys, you talk about getting your A swing off. That's what it looks like right there. A guy with massive power letting it eat. Now the one and one pitch. And he fouls this one off. Here's a bouncing ball headed for Crawford at short. Throw goes over to third. And he is out retreating to second as they slap the tag on him. Two away now in the Colorado seven. And up next, postseason record holder Daniel Murphy. Now a snap move over to first. And he is tagged out here. Boy, a bad mistake. You Mike Dunn has been summoned from the now bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Number 38. Here's Mike. Joe Panic. In terms of the lifetime head-to-head -head with Mike Dunn, Demon. he hits at a 364 clip. No balls and a strike to count. Aye. Called strike 0 and 2. Great spot with that pitch down and away. He'll be fine coming out of the bullpen in this one if he can keep hitting that spot. Panic behind a ball and two strikes. The one two is swung on and missed strike three. Good job of making him chase a pitch for the strike out there. Yeah, Matt, that's the, the advantage of getting ahead in the count. You can really Flip force top. hitters to Brandon. expand their zone and protect. Walker. And when they're in that mode, getting them to go after a pitch they can't do much with becomes a lot easier. Here's the shortstop, Brandon Crawford. Yes, he pops the first pitch foul behind the plate. He's hitless in three at-bats to this point. Set to deliver the 0-1. Nope. And, oh. and that one misses one. downstairs for a ball, 1-1. One and one. One and two now. And he strikes him out as well. So make it back to back punch outs here to the first two men he faces out of the bullpen. The batter. Striding in once again, Aramis Garcia will attempt to put the ball in play for a change here with the first two guys going down on strikes to start the inning. Comes set with the 0 and 1. And he gets him to pop it up on the right side of the infield. And Reynolds will tuck this one away, and the inning is over. So the Rockies lineup turns over, and to the plate, Daniel Murphy. He's got a hit in three at-bats to this point. Here's the first pitch to him. And he had to be looking for something else to start the at-bat. It's 0-1.
lazy fly ball out to center field. Maben moving in. He makes the catch. A great effort to get there and record the first out of the inning. Now batting. So one center gone fielder. for the Rockies here in the yeah. eighth. And the next to dig in will be the outfielder Ian Desmond. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Gets a good piece of it there, but this is foul off toward the third base coaching box. Pomerantz into the windup. Here comes the pitch. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Maben is there. Makes the play, and there are two gone now. Now batting. The At white plate, field. Charlie Blackman Charlie. on the night. He's two for four Four's with a there. pair of singles. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Line drive to left. Shaw is there and he'll put it away to retire the side. So they Evan attention. Longoria is going to pinch it here to lead off the ninth. And with his club Number already seven. well down, Evan. he'll just need to try and get on Longoria. base here. Ball one to start the at bat. One and oh pitch on the way. And a strike to even the count. One and one. In terms of the lifetime head to head with Mike Dunn, a handful of plate appearances, and he's gone four for six. Lost it in the air out toward right center. And the pinch hitter is retired here, one away. Now back. The center field now back to the top of the lineup, stepping in Cameron Maven. The 0 1 pitch. And a breaking ball down and in here as he's got to hop out of the way there. Fly ball out toward left center field. Desmond sprinting after it. He gets there, and that's the second out. The right fielder coming to the plate now. Gerardo Parra. It was a fly out for him in his last trip. Strike one to start the at bat. Taken called strike two, and now they're down to their final strike tonight. A crowd in excess of 37,000 come to their feet. To his right, Reynolds. Throw on to first, and the ball game is over. Guys, it seems like this team just refuses to ever let a downward trend get any kind of traction. Well, that's why.